end of that, in that fourth quarter to really get it going. What did you see from, from their pace and their ability to get out and transition? Well, they uh, established their pace uh, from the start of the game. We didn't win a quarter uh, tonight. You know, they was averaging 30 plus uh, each quarter. Uh, they got to their tempo. Um, you know, they played their game uh, tonight, and uh, you know, we just didn't uh, wasn't able to keep them out of the paint. Uh, they had 38 points in the paint uh, in the first half and 60 for the game. Uh, you know, so it's just not controlling the basketball, keeping the ball in front of us. Uh, you know, 28, 29 fast break points. And, um, you know, we only had nine turnovers. So they are scoring off of misses and made baskets. And uh, just seemed like we had heavy legs those three days off. Uh, uh, it just seemed like we had heavy legs all night long and uh, was not able to uh, control the basketball and keep it out of the paint. Yeah. Well, they really they don't change how they play uh, with their second unit. Um, uh, TJ does a good job of coming in. McConnell does a good job of coming in and keeping that tempo fast uh, by pushing the ball, playing in the paint. I thought uh, you know he hurt us uh, when he was in the game. Uh, you know, getting in the paint, dishing as well as finishing. Uh, so it starts with. Uh, you know, defense starts with first getting back and then controlling the basketball. If you can't control the basketball, it's going to be a long night. You know, they're going to pretty much get what they want, uh, which is what uh, they did tonight. I'm, I'm curious how those three days kind of affects the rhythm that you guys are able to establish when you're technically, when you typically play like every other night. How does those, how do those three? Kind of well, work? you know, you, you're going from zero to 60. You know, uh, you, we, we, we tried to get in a scrimmage yesterday and uh, just to get some live play uh, uh, and, and try to get the timing. But it, you can't simulate a, uh, uh, a game. And, uh, you know, uh, they looked the same way we did last night uh, in New Orleans. And, um, you know, so... Uh, but, you know, we, we, we just got to continue to work, continue to work. Um, uh, we, didn't, we didn't have our legs uh, tonight. Uh, hopefully we'll have them tomorrow night. And you guys had a game plan coming in in terms of the rotation and, and how everything should switch up. But how much did that um, Onyeka's foul trouble early in the game, those three fouls? Or... You know, of course that hurts. You know, we're limited with Clint being out and with, uh, you know, Dre being out, uh, your limited size, you know, bigs. And again, you know, um, tonight, 29 uh, fast break points and 60 points in the paint. They are bringing it right, you know, taking it right to the rim. And, you know, those guys are rim protectors. So when you have uh, Clint out and you have um, Oyeka in foul trouble most of the night, um, you know, they just pounded us in the paint. I was going to say, just in terms of John, I know he's been struggling with his three-point shot a little bit recently. Just how good was it to see him kind of get into a little bit of a rhythm there? Before yeah, well, you know, John, we want him to shoot the ball, you know. And I thought tonight he didn't hesitate. Uh, he was looking for a shot. Uh, I thought he was really aggressive uh, on the offensive end of the floor. And... You know, we, he had to play a lot more five um, tonight, uh, which we got him involved uh, in the offense by setting screens and, and, and finding him in those pick and roll sets. Uh, so it's always good to see guys, you know, knock down shots and uh, get a rhythm. Uh, but, you know, just as a team, you know, we, uh, we needed to be better tonight guarding the ball um, and defending our paint. Um, it seemed like also when that, that second unit came in, the offense kind of fell a little bit stagnant there. Just where, where can they kind of, I guess, make up some of that room offensively and get the ball moving? And... Our second unit? Yeah. I thought, they, I, mean, I thought they came in and uh, they weren't bad in the second half. Um, I thought Jalen came in and gave us some, some pretty decent play. And uh, uh, Bogey and, and John and that combination of uh, DJ uh, in that fourth quarter, 
uh, we got the game within 10. And uh, we, you know, we were kind of making a run. Uh, the first half, um, because of the foul trouble, uh, we had, a, you know, a few different combinations play. And, uh, you know, we, they couldn't make shots. I thought we had some good looks uh, in that first half, and we didn't knock down those shots. Uh, but I thought second half, uh, Jalen in that second unit in the fourth quarter uh, wasn't bad. You know, he was able to get the game uh, right around 10. Um, I don't know if we got it below that. I, I think we did. And, um, you know, we just wasn't able to finish it. Absolutely. I mean, well, with all of our guys, you know, whenever they get an opportunity, we want those guys to be uh, aggressive and, uh, you know, make if you're going to make a mistake, make it being aggressive, uh, not hesitating out there. And I thought uh, tonight, uh, especially the second half, he gave us uh, some good minutes.